Welcome to the Weekend Edition. This video is good through Sunday, September 19th, 2010. My name is Des Woodruff. I'm your mentor and analyst here at Grok Trade. We're going to be looking at all major indices, so listen up. We're going to be going quite fast here. We have the S&P Daily. We were in this symmetrical triangle. We broke out of the symmetrical triangle and busting above all major moving averages. We have gone up, 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 and more up with only one significant down day and a whole plethora of bars to the upside. We are now at a major resistance area. That major resistance area is 129 to one, or I'm sorry, 1129 to 1130 coming across. See that swing high right there? That's precisely where we're at. And by all major indicators, uh, we are overbought in this market. So we, the markets are begging for a retracement or what's called a correction in the markets. So the question is, if we do get that, where might we go Two. Well, we have significant support here at 1116, but we could certainly break down to see these other areas like 1100, and I could see us also getting down to this major trend line. By doing that would put us about a 38% retracement, uh, maybe even a 50% retracement of this big run, and that would be juicy for another rally to the upside. But it would be hard pressed for me to be going bullish at this moment. Matter of fact, over the weekend, I am net to the bear side because we're overextended and at resistance and we doji it out, that's a point of indecision after our run, that and we have a crossover on the MACD 5902, you can see us crossing over, and if I blow this way up, you can see a histogram tick to the negative side, confirming that crossover, so I think that we probably will drop coming on Monday. Remember Tuesday, the Fed speaking at 2.15 Eastern Standard Time, Mr. Bernanke talking about rates to find out what his decision is on, will we monkey with the rates or keep stay pat? We'll just have to watch that. So let's also go to a weekly. Here's the weekly on the S&P Daily. Nice symmetrical triangle. Boom, broke out and broke over a big resistance area. See this swing, this swing right there. That was the 1120. Boom, busted up through that. At this moment, um, next area is 1150. As far as the week is concerned, the only thing that I have concern with are these shadows. And if I show you the shadow right here, I could probably raise that just ever so slightly. You know, resistance, resistance, resistance. We're right at that resistance, so it really needs to clear that also, and then um, blast on through. But right now, everything looks pretty bullish on the weekly. And when it comes to the monthly, let me show you this. And what we have is another symmetric triangle, but this time we're in the confines of the apex, and we have big resistance at 1148. Be watching 1148, you see this resistance, resistance became support. We did break it here, but still something to pay a lot of attention to. I don't like the fact that we're not getting off this lower trend line. Um, it needs to release itself from this trend line, and as long as it's staying here, that is of some concern to me. Let's go to the Dow. Here's the Dow, broke that trend line, very nice, above all major moving averages, overextended, big, big. Anytime you get this sort of volume, huge volume. Now, today was triple witching day, and I'm burning this on a Friday. Um, you, you're gonna normally get more volume, but anytime you're at the top of a major extension, and then you get a doji on big volume, usually it's a telltale sign that you're gonna get a reversal. And on the weekly, the weekly, we are breaking up out of a triangle as we speak on major volume. So gang, the weekly is screaming bullish, big time bullish. The area that we have to really watch out for here would be um, this 10.725 area. I mean, that's gonna be a resistance point that we need to uh, pay attention to, but weekly looks really bullish to me. Let's see what the monthly looks like. Monthly, big uh, symmetrical, or uh, let's look at bullish pennant. So it um, needs to bust out. We need to get over 10.767 or get up to um, 10.971. There's some resistance points here. This 11,000 um, should be a big one. But we're kind of trading between this 10,000, 11,000 range. Um, it, we're prone to doing that. So let's see how this fares. And let's look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ, boom, 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 boom. 
big. Um, we have what's called a hanging man reversal pattern. We are above some really nice resistance right now. So let's just see how this dude pans out. Then we come over here to the weekly and the weekly big symmetrical triangle. Boom, this week blasted through it. Big resistance here at 2320 where we stalled right at that. That is a big area of resistance that we need to get through, but the markets are looking really good. And then we come over here to the monthly. Now the monthly, uh, we still are in the confines of this uh, symmetrical triangle. We've dropped and we're trying to chew our way up here, but we're, we're stuck between this um, 2090 and this 2384 area. So this 2400 has to get busted if we're going to go bullish. That is a key area. And let's go to the Russells. The Russells on the daily pop, 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 pop up over major moving averages. Not as far as some of the other ones. This one's just barely above the 200. And remember, high bases can um, are normally more bullish, but can break down. We need confirmation to the upside if this market is going to go bullish. If we cannot sustain that, we have a lot of area at 630 that I could see as acting as some major support. And let's bring the weekly in. The weekly is telling us right here that we had this triangle. We're breaking out of it. We have the 200, the 225, 225 moving averages that could act as a significant resistance. So let's keep an eye on that. And then the monthly here on the Russells is um, we've dropped, bounced, hit our head. We dropped again. Now we're basing kind of a low base. But we're between 591 and 652, 651 area. Big trading range. We're at the resistance of that now. We need to break through. But 700 is going to be a huge resistance if it can break up to see those levels. Now, gang, you have to understand these choppy markets that we've been in. I mean, you can look at it here. We went down, down, up, down, up on a monthly. Very, very choppy. We're in this big um, trading range. You have to be careful trading in these markets. So listen, a lot of people don't know this. Next weekend, we have a mentorship. It's a three-day immersion mentorship. If you don't know what that is, wake up, smell the coffee, gang. This is where the foundation of trading comes. This is where uh, no stone gets left unturned. This is where you get the very best of trading education by expert traders. Not those that just talk the talk, but walk the walk. You see us put ourselves out there every day. Matter of fact, you're starting to see even um, Scott uh, Stokes, he is coming on with me. He and I, for the first time, are teaching together. Jonathan, Dr. Jonathan Klein was my mentor many moons ago. And Scott Stokes was Jonathan's mentor. So in the trading world, I would consider Scott Stokes my grandfather, I guess. <laughs> he wouldn't like that very much. But he and I are um, teaching together next weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and a Monday. Gang, do not miss out on this. If you want to be a part of this, email Mike, Mike at grocktrade.com or go meet the mentors.com. Sit through that uh, video to learn all about it. But only a few days left here. If you want to be a part, don't miss out. Remember, capital preservation is where it's at. Save your money first. Put a tourniquet on your bleeding. Get a solid foundation of trading education and get and start developing to go to new heights in trading. Our goal here is to help you reach your full potential as a trader. And that's what our students receive. And there's my nine-minute video. <laughs> Take care. Safe trading to you. And we will talk to you next week.